This is my 1998 Honda XR400R dirt bike. And has a good appearance. And uh, strictly for off-road use only. As it says in the um, sticker back here. And some people have converted these to dual sport. Where they would be on and off-road use. Recently, I cleaned my spark arrestor here. And got the carbon cleaned off with the brush. And also I cleaned the inside of the muffler right here. And it was a dark black carbon built up in here. Which may have been the reason why it could have been backfiring. And I usually buy all my parts at motorsport.com. Preferably more than the dealer, the same identical parts. And my dirt bike's name is Honey on both sides. H O N E Y, Honey. And when I first used the dirt bike, after using Dunlop inner tubes with Dunlop tires, went to the MSRV rubber uh, dirt bike inner tubes. Uh, they were real good, strong, heavy duty tubes. And also got Alpine Star stickers on both sides because I wear the Alpine Star um, Tech 6 uh, red boots. Like when I've been doing a dirt bike riding uh, before, they almost remind me of uh, clown boots. Just like an example of uh, Pennywise. But my hair is not red, but it's black. But it's been red by accident one time. <laughs> um... I do have a Maxxis Surcross 110 100 by 18 tires. The 64 meter, I guess, or what it is, or so on the sidewall. Eventually, I'm gonna have a, a light lock. Uh, Rimlock put in right here about light lock rimlock to hold the tire on. The original inner tube I had in here from Max's um eventually uh just aged and had some deterioration in it, even though it was patched uh, back in 07. And I just got a brand new IRC uh, tube in here. And I got an IRC tube heavy duty in the front. And I might unfortunately have to change these tires because I still got plenty of uh, tire tread right here but uh the rim lock uh as you see right here will eventually have to be changed because it's starting to uh deteriorate and um deteriorate and just go with the light lock rim lock type from uh motion Pro, I believe it is, and I uh, might be putting Pirelli uh, tires on here, the 8100 by 21 for the front. And 
and I'm gonna eventually get some new parts for the inside of the transmission behind the sort of like around the Kickstarter because previously uh this thing would only start on the third or fifth kickstart. So there might be some parts that are probably either worn out or the tooth and some of the gears could be uh, broken. And uh, we'll be changing this pipe out with this. It's going to get a FMF um, header pipe stainless steel, the uh, power bomb pipe, and that pipe will go toward here and have a, a power cover for by FMF muffler. Plus, I recently had a purchase an additional FMF quieter uh, piece for the new replacement pump that's going to replace this current uh, spark arrester. But I will be keeping the old parts for later use. And um, This part right here unfortunately got bent somehow, and um, that will be replaced. And um, a couple weeks ago, I used some goop to clean all the grit and stuff uh, underneath the chain glider here, chain slider. Uh, the black thing that goes around the swing arm and that came apart in uh, four or five pieces and um, we'll eventually have to get another float valve, petcock valve, and another hose and the majority of these parts are still available for the Honda XR400, but some have been phased out. And I enjoy riding the bike when I can. That's like, I'm not always available about every weekend to ride when I can. But it sure is a good bike. I'm just lucky to get the opportunity to buy it when I could in 98. And, um, but it will never be sold because uh, I plan to keep it for a while. And, um, I enjoy the stair bike because it's really just almost like part of me because I've given it the nickname, uh, Honey. But an XR400 can really have a lot of power uh, just to get you going. Because in previous days, I've even um, used to jump 12 and 16 foot uh, dirt piles. And um, so right now, I might just try to keep flat and level. And um, it's a real good bike. And uh, it's too bad that Honda just phased them out. Uh, but eventually I will be also replacing the grips here on the right and the left. And also be replacing um, the... Uh, decompressor cable with this uh, lever here um, and there's also a throttle cable uh, 
that could be a potential uh, safety hazard, which therefore I plan to uh, replace. Headlight still works pretty good. And I just basically wash it with like Joy or Palmolive liquid soap because it's more economical. And therefore, you can see my um, throttle cable right here. where there's been the rubbing of wear and tear, uh, this could eventually become a safety hazard. So that's therefore why I'm replacing that. And, um, and uh, we'll be getting new clutch uh, gasket. And, um, A clutch gasket over the engine and be replacing some other gaskets that go behind here and it's like uh, where this oil filter uh, goes right here uh, this part that just covers the right side of the engine. I just discovered that this part here is now no longer available. So it's like try to take care of what you got and eventually maybe it, uh, it'll last. Uh, this bike will be probably about 18 years old this uh, coming July, because I got it in July of 1998, and I'm just pleased with its performance. It seems like some of the tires right now and price are just going through the roof. And um, I remember when the inner tubes used to be only like uh, about 15 10 or 15 dollars and now they're skyrocketing up to like 20 35 dollars just taking this rubber piece off which i just did there and that's the inner tube valve right there the RC tube heavy duty in there. And um this um the inner tubes uh usually um uh, it's like the more you pay for an inner tube the longer the inner tube will last you in the dirt bike tire. I've had even the economical uh, dirt bike inner tubes to even last just maybe about even three or six months. And it's almost like if you pay less for an inner tube, I guess you get what you pay for. But if you pay more for an inner tube, then it will last you longer. So far... Uh, um, maybe a potential where I may eventually have to replace uh, this uh, rear brake hose here later on um, for the brake fluid and I do know that uh, uh, brake fluid right here where you put it is a little low because I recently opened it
Yeah, looks like I'm getting this open now. Hmm. Yeah, I might eventually have to add some more in there. And, uh, it's like whenever you ride a dirt bike, just don't want to leak any gas because you leak gas that could become a uh, fire hazard. And, um, so a fire hazard could mean a possible to the loss, and not only that, but uh, all the oil goes here, and I got all in it, but it's going to have to be changed when I have the bike service. Recently, uh, pumped the rest of the gas out the other day, because it had been in here for a while. Because I try to burn all my gas out. Because if you don't burn your gas out, it can gel and it can also uh, mess up the carburetor. And I'm um, sure it's a real good bike and I enjoy it. Yep, sure is my honey. And um, I'll just be glad to even upgrade it. Yeah, get the oil and the filter changed. Just change out some of the parts. Maybe the muffler may be a little louder, which is fine with me. Because I'll just run run uh, uh, the devil out of it. <laughs> but uh, these... Uh, brake rotors for the um, rear will be changed out to the galper and when you change this out to a galper you must have the galper brake pad because the galper brake is only warranted uh, with a galper brake pad and the other brake pad will avoid the warranty and this one here will eventually be changed out and may also have to replace some of the bearings in both the front wheel as well as the rear wheel and um Sure is a real good bike, and I enjoy it. It's like it's really, truly my honey. But uh, I ride it, could ride it when I could. But um, um, I'm just gonna have it upgraded, and eventually try to get back to riding if I can, because I'm sure it's probably gonna maybe cost about eight, maybe nine hundred dollars or so just to do the work. I need to get done on it. Sure's a real good bike. Um, uh, yeah, because it's an investment, and also it's like a dirt bike. Can also can last you twenty or thirty years, as they say, or twenty five years, even uh, if you take care of it while maintaining it. Eventually, these graphics here are going to be replaced because it's like age, wear, and tear are taking its toll on it. And uh, I'm going to replace those. And also, they say the ethanol in the gas is bad for uh, the stickers, causes them to deteriorate. And ethanol in the gas can also damage your float valve, and it can mess up your carburetor. So the ethanol and um, can really be bad on the gas for what we do. 